walking into strangers' houses, Brank! <laughs> I'm literally in so many people's way! <laughs> Guys, don't you wanna high five me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my hand has been forced. Today I saw a TikTok so bad that my moral compass wouldn't allow me to not make a video on it. It's not easy being a good guy, people. Now, a question I get asked a lot by you guys is how do I find all of these people that I make videos on? And the honest truth is just a combination of being on the internet too much and going out and looking for them. Can't believe I just revealed my secret like that, but hey, I'm an open guy. And with this never-ending search, there are a lot of people, lots of videos, lots of TikTokers, lots of individual stories, whatever, that I just never end up making a video on. And this is normally because even if I think what I'm seeing is video worthy, there might just not be enough to it. It might just be like one small isolated incident that's not really enough to talk about. So what ends up happening a lot is I'll come across something, decide not to make a video on it, and then months later the situation will develop, something new will happen, and I'll be like, okay, it's time. And that's exactly what's happened today with a video I saw from a TikToker named Dennis the Menace. Now some of you might recognize this guy like six months to a year ago, he was kind of going viral for this video series he was doing where he was saying no one cares what you do in public and he would go into public and act like an absolute psychopath. Now when I first saw these TikToks I was considering making a video on him just because what he was doing was so lame but for whatever reason I ended up deciding against it. So that was until today when I saw a TikTok that he more recently uploaded where he goes a step further from just going into a target and yelling like a psychopath and he does something that I think needs to be talked about. We're gonna look at some of his older videos too today but we're gonna start with this one because that's the reason this video is getting made and prepare to get angry. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Walking into strangers' houses, Brank! <laughs> Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Hello? I'm gonna rob the f out of this place! <laughs> what the f are you doing? Get the f off my property. I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> yeah, so right off the bat, I'm sure you can tell this guy is pretty cool. This is basically his shtick. He goes around in public being a general nuisance and just kind of acting unhinged. Normally, he's in a grocery store yelling stuff, doing this stupid laugh that he does. But in this TikTok, he's decided to take it to a neighborhood. So he walks up to this guy's ring doorbell, says, I'm going to rob this place, and then walks away, says, okay, he's going to call the police. Let's go to the house across the street. Now, while what he's done already in this video is insane, it's gross, it should be grounds to be banned off TikTok. If you read their community guidelines, it wouldn't sound like things like this would be allowed. But what he's going to do next is just a whole new level of insanity. And again, it's why this video is being made. Out to the house across the street. <laughs> Bro, no one's house is unlocked. Sometimes the back door could be open. Let's see what we got back cooking in the backyard. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. I'm literally in somebody's house! <laughs> yeah, this is content in 2023. So I don't know if this is staged or not. I feel like it's not. To me, if you were going to stage something like this, you would stage a reaction and not just have what looks like a teenage girl peek around the corner looking terrified because she just saw someone break into her home. So I feel like this is real. Which leads me to the question, how does a person manage to get to such a low point in their life? How do you get so desperate for interest? internet attention, internet validation, whatever it might be, that you are willing to break into someone's home and film it. And maybe a better question, what is wrong with the 75,000 people that follow this guy? I mean, this seriously might be the worst thing I've ever seen from TikTok. We've seen another person do this, that Mizzy guy I covered a few months ago. And since the internet has absolutely ruined the minds of millions of people, here we are comparing home invasion pranks. I think Mizzy's was a lot better because at least he just acted like he walked into the wrong home, said he was looking for a study group. This guy walks in and decides to act like a caveman who was recently thawed and introduced back to society. I mean, if this wasn't staged, this guy is seriously lucky he walked into this particular home. Because honestly, I think a lot of people in America see a fully grown man acting this way in a home they weren't invited into. Uh, there's gonna be an incident, and I think it would probably be justified. We talked about this in that convenience store robbery prank video, how it's very easy to forget as the audience that the people who are on the other side of the 
the camera don't know this is a prank. A person acting like this who just broke into your home? I don't know how you wouldn't see this as an immediate threat. I mean, seriously, I don't know how else to put it. Is it gonna take somebody getting killed for people to stop being so stupid? I really try not to throw around names when I make these videos. I always try to keep them very constructive, but I feel like in this instance, it's objectively true. If this is not staged, this guy is an idiot. If you do this, you are asking to be shot by someone defending their home and their children and their family. I mean, I try not to get heated when I make these videos, but it's just insane to me that people like this exist and that there are parents out there who have failed their children who now follow this guy and think stuff like this is funny. I really, really hope this is fake, but knowing the other videos that this guy has made, the ones you're about to see, my hopes are not high. No one actually cares what you do. Watch this. I can literally go right into this target and just be an absolute menace. Guys, don't you want to high five me? <laughs> Okay, so I know I make a lot of jokes about studies on this channel, like saying a person needs to be studied, but being completely serious here for a minute, I think that a study on guys like this would be genuinely helpful. Just trying to dive into the brain of people who are willing to do whatever it takes to get attention on the internet. You know, the rich pianas of TikTok clout. I think it might actually shed some light on what the internet is doing to the population. Because, I mean, it's one thing if a person is just genuinely unwell and they need some real medical help and that causes them to go out in public and do something like this? This is not what that is. If there was not a camera rolling, this guy would not be doing this. For a person to be willing to break every single societal behavioral standard that they were presumably raised with for a TikTok, surely we should be trying to figure out the cause for that, right? I can literally scream random dates at people and no one cares. January 14th, 2023. March 7th, 2023, at 11 p.m. I swear if this video gets copyright claimed because of this runaway instrumental in the background, I'm going to lose my mind. Another very telling characteristic of these videos is that it's all based off the premise that this guy is realizing you can do whatever you want in public. And upon realizing this, what this guy decides to go do is basically just harass people. Yell at them, scream at them, make a scene in public, purposefully make people uncomfortable. Not go around and like compliment people or go do a few good deeds. No. When this guy realized he had free will, all he wanted to do is harass people trying to get some groceries. No one actually cares what you do. Watch this. I can literally just lay here and nobody cares. Guys, aren't I just laying here? I'm literally in so many people's way. <laughs> I can just ask people for hugs and they're going to forget about it in minutes. Hug me! One of y'all better hug me right now. See? That's the worst thing that they could possibly do. I honestly think the craziest part about these videos is this guy's following and his comment sections. Because it's really not that hard to believe that there would be a single guy out there who found this funny, who found doing stuff like this in public enjoyable. But what is kind of hard to believe is that there are seemingly hundreds of thousands of people who think the same way. If you go through this guy's account and you look at the comments, most of them are positive. Like one of the top few comments will always be something about this guy's confidence is insane. I mean, how do you see this and then attribute a positive characteristic to this guy? I mean, seriously, this has nothing to do with confidence. This is an extreme sense of entitlement, a total disregard to the people around you. I mean, you go into a store and you scream something, you do something stupid for a one-off TikTok, whatever. Nobody really cares, right? But to do this dozens and dozens of times, the same shtick over and over again, there's a difference between being self-confident and not really giving a whole lot of thought about what the people around you think when it comes to stuff like what you wear, what you like to do, things of that nature. But that does not mean that you should go out into public and make it your number one priority to be a nuisance and bother people for sport. Those two things are not the same. Now we could keep going through this guy's TikToks, but truthfully they're all the same. He walks into a public space, yells a few questionable things, does that laugh he likes to do, and then cuts the video. I really feel like there's a problem with the internet as a whole when it comes to social media and not cracking down on stuff like this. I mean, I understand that stuff like this is not necessarily against a lot of social media platforms community guidelines, but I feel like these bigger platforms like YouTube and TikTok have to have some sort of responsibility in this. Now you can make the argument that content like this is not necessarily harming anybody, and I might partially agree, but I don't think that's a very good argument. Social media platforms allowing videos like this and stuff of this nature, I'm not just talking about this guy in particular, and allowing 
allowing them to blow up and get millions of views and make the people who made them famous is undoubtedly encouraging people to copy this behavior. Now am I saying that these videos where he's walking around a grocery store and just being annoying should be deleted off TikTok? Not necessarily, but am I saying the video where he breaks into a person's house should be deleted off of TikTok? Absolutely, and I think that should have gotten him banned. I mean, there's got to be some sort of line that these social media platforms draw where they're like, okay, everything up to this point is harmless enough, but past this point we can't encourage this kind of behavior and we can't help the people engaging in this behavior get famous. I mean, it's just like that YouTube prankster who got shot a couple of months ago, who after getting shot because he was pulling a stupid YouTube prank, said he was going to continue making similar pranks. So we've got a guy on YouTube who has already pushed a prank to the point of getting violent, just like thousands of other pranksters on this website, who is going to continue to use YouTube to do it again. I mean, I genuinely have made a video on this website where I talk about a guy being kind of weird for covering himself in peanut butter for his YouTube channel that got age restricted because it was deemed not safe for children, but videos like the one I covered last week where a guy robs a store as a YouTube prank is A-OK, -okay, baby. That would never encourage a young kid to do something stupid, right? No, peanut butter is what we need to save our children from. I mean, seriously, at some point we gotta stop letting these social media platforms off the hook. If you wanna allow content like this on your platform, okay do it, but then don't try and parade as this child-friendly environment. If you demonetize people and age-restrict people for saying a few no-no words, but then let content like this run rampant among those oh-so-impressionable audiences, your actions are performative. Either follow your own guidelines or just don't have them. I mean, there is literally a section in the YouTube community guidelines barring dangerous or threatening pranks. Pranks that lead victims to fear imminent serious physical danger or that create serious emotional distress in minors. Yet, you have a guy on YouTube. YouTube, who was recently shot because the prank he pulled put someone in fear for their life. That guy was then found not guilty by a jury, proving that at least 12 people agreed that that prank was too far. Yet his channel's fine, the video where he talks about it is not age restricted, but my peanut butter video is. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Well guys, um, sorry, did not mean to rant for the last like three minutes. What are y'all's thoughts? Am I getting a little bit too worked up over nothing? Sometimes I just get worried that we're a little bit too far gone, you know? If these are the trends now, if this is what's passing as content, if the pranks people are pulling these days are passing as pranks, what's gonna be happening in 10 years? Are we gonna start seeing the terrorist attack challenge? I mean, seriously, where's the ceiling? Because I don't think we're there yet. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.